pants. <laughs> rough pants. What's, what's going on, buddy? <laughs> Good morning. What's happening? <laughs> rough pants. I've I don't, that just came out. I don't know how that happened, but there it is. Today, we're going to speak with my gold and silver dealer, who discusses the gold price and silver price as Russia pulls forces back from Ukraine. How you doing, everybody? Welcome to Empire Precious Metals. Stormy here. If you're new to the channel, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm a guy in a bucket talking about precious metals. So make sure you blast that subscribe button, get the bell notification clicked. That way you get updated with any new content. Today, I am going to be discussing with my gold and silver dealer, Steve, the gold price and silver price as it relates to the Russia pullback from Ukraine. At the time of the recording of this video, which is taking place on Tuesday, February 15th, 2022, gold is down $17 at $1,861 an ounce, and silver is down 52 cents at $23.44 per ounce. Now, I have said many times on this channel that gold and silver prices will fluctuate as things happen in the news. That's why it's very important for you, somebody that's looking to buy and hold and even possibly sell silver and gold to pay attention to what's happening in the world around you, especially in the, the world headlines. Now, as soon as this escalation of a conflict started to happen over along the Ukrainian border, as Russia continued to pile troops along the border, escalating things to look as if they're going to invade, and we're still not out of the woods just yet, but we started to see people move from their riskier I would say the riskier investments like stocks, crypto, etc., pulling out of those positions, start moving into something that's a little bit more secure like silver and gold, right? As we know, gold and silver is a store of value. It's a hedge against inflation and it maintains wealth in times of uncertainty. We started to see people move from one asset class into another, started to move into precious metals, and we started to see the prices of gold and silver continue to rise. Now, at the time of the recording of this video, what we are seeing is that when Russia started to pull forces back from the Ukrainian border, we saw that the Dow Industrial Average shoot up. It's up 422 points today alone. And then we saw this pullback in metals. So what does this tell you? Well, for one, it's important to not have all of your eggs in one basket. You do not want to have all of your money in the stock market or into crypto because obviously things can change at a moment's notice and there could be uh, some sort of world event that could cause all of your investments to lose a lot of value. So it's very important for you to not have all of your eggs in one basket, which is why you want to have some of your money in a physical asset like gold, right? This stuff has you know, stood the test of time. It is seen to be a great hedge against inflation, and it's a great way to protect your wealth in times of uncertainty. Now, I'm not talking about SHTF situations where you're going to have um, an entire uh, collapse of an economic system where people are going to be relying on the trading of silver and gold for services and other goods. I'm talking about stuff in terms of, you know, short-term uh, events, you know, things that might only take place over the course of a handful of months or a year, but it is important for you to have some of your money or your net worth in physical metals, stuff that you actually hold, not stuff that is on paper, not necessarily just gold stocks and silver stocks, but actual physical gold that you have access to. Now, I do want to spend some time talking to Steve. It's going to be very brief. He was very, very busy when I went into the store today. However, he does have some opinions on the matter as to what you should be doing when it comes to gold and silver. It might surprise you, actually, in terms of the buying and selling of these assets right now. So let's talk to Steve, and then uh, let's wrap up over here when we're done speaking with him. <laughs> um, all right, so there's some news that happened today. This is one of the reasons I wanted to come in and chat with you. Russia going into Ukraine, or being on the border of Ukraine, has caused precious metals to just go up 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 yeah you saw a little spike yep and now you said exactly what i was listening to on the news russia is starting to pull forces back what are we seeing yeah so once you see that um you know the metals are going to follow suit right so when you have any kind of international turmoil going on 
you almost always see the metals start to percolate. Uh, people are rushing to the safe havens. Mm -hmm. uh, they want, you know, commodities. Um, so you see that you saw the spike go right up, and then as soon as they, they even mention that uh, Putin is pulling back some forces, automatically you see the the, the silver and gold prices are, are coming down. You probably can see the screen behind me. Probably yeah, let me zoom the, in. You see all the negatives. Oh yeah, silver is down 76, uh, 72 cents. We gotta let palladium and platinum pass by gold. Eighteen forty eight. Yes. It was like eighteen sixty something just yesterday. Yeah. So just an interesting play, right? So it kind of goes back to like we talk strategy a lot. If you see some kind of turmoil going on, some little saber rattling or whatever you want to call that, it's kind of an opportunity. Um, you know, look for the the metals to maybe percolate a little bit, and then. But the thing is, you got to be when to pull the trigger. I know. You know that's the big question. But now that's like goes to the whole thing, right? That's like if you're really like almost like trading gold and everything. You know, as you very much know, a lot of the people that you are selling to and everything, this is kind of like a long term play. Yeah. And so, like, I, I tell people to, to buy gold when they can. Um, not necessarily always wait until that magical number, because you never really know. You're never oh, going to... true. You know what they always try to say? You want to get somewhere around the peak. You're yeah. never going to hit that very... Right. The pinnacle. It's not going to happen. You want to just try to be somewhere close to it, on one other side or the other. Um, yeah, and the other thing, too, is I'm not saying unload everything. Right. Uh, but certainly think about a portion. You know, take a chance. Listen, life's about taking risks, and if you don't do that, then... You usually aren't going to gain, right? right now. So, so take a chance. Sell some of your stuff and wait. Right. See what happens. I'm not saying, like I said, don't dump it all. Maybe just a just portion of it. Portion you know? of it. Yeah. To whatever your tolerance is. Take some of the profits. Sure. Take some profit. Absolutely. So, I was actually very surprised to hear Steve say, "Listen, it's okay to take profits. Make sure that you are paying attention to the bottom line. Make sure you're paying attention to what's happening in the world, and do not be afraid." to sell off some of your precious metals in times where things are escalated, when you can get more money for your assets. Now, this is stuff that you want to hold long term, okay? This is not something that you are basically trading, okay? That's that's two different things. But what he's saying is, you know, let's say you did buy some gold at a relatively low price and you're seeing an opportunity to take those profits, you definitely want to consider uh, possibly selling out of your position. Not all, but just some. And I've done this time and time again, and it has proven to be uh, very lucrative. And I've been able to take those profits and I've been able to uh, buy more gold or more silver as prices come back down. We're going to see a lot of ups and downs as it relates to this uh, conflict with Russia and Ukraine. We're not out of the woods just yet. Now, this can all be very temporary. We could all wake up tomorrow and Russia could have committed more troops to the Ukrainian border again. We really do not know what is going to happen just yet. But if that were to happen, what would we see? Again, it's going to be like a roller coaster. We'll see the precious metals shoot back up. We would see stocks come back down because, again, uncertainty definitely uh, creates panic in the markets. But Again, you want to be level-headed. You want to consider buying and holding onto physical assets like silver and gold. And do not be afraid to take some profits when opportunities present themselves. Now, I'm curious as to what your thoughts are on the entire conflict with Russia along the Ukrainian border. Are we going to see a continued de-escalation and watch prices continue to drop? Or do you think, you know, not just yet, we're not out of the woods yet, Putin is unpredictable and he could very well uh, continue to ratchet things back up. I'm just curious as to what you are doing when it comes to buying and selling your precious metals in times of uncertainty. Let us know in the comments down below. And I would like to quickly thank these elite channel supporters. And if you haven't already become a channel member, please check out the awesome perks and join today. With that, this is Empire Precious Metals. Until next time, long live the empire.